a Greek Stoic philosopher, Epictetus, said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it, that matters. We can as well say, It's not what happens to you, but how prepared you are, that matters. When it comes to the economy of the world, it's like a wall clock. There's always a comeback. For instance, if you live till 70, you'll experience at least three economic recessions and probably an economic depression in your lifetime. If something is so common and unavoidable like economic recession, then it might be wise that everyone prepares for it. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the five types of books you should read during this recession. If you are an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we specially invite you to join our motivational channel which was designed to give you daily inspirations so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. 1. Books about the history of recession Let's get back to my analogy about the wall clock. If you look at your wall clock and see that it's 3 p.m., you're sure we're soon going to be in the evening. Just like the clock, human history always repeats itself. If you can choose any topic of interest, be it politics, business or economics, and take time to study the occurrences in that field for the last few decades, you can become a prophet because you can easily understand, for example, what often happens before the bomb explodes. You'll as well have insights into what happens during the recession and as well as what happens after. This understanding will not only give you the courage to confront whatever is coming, it will also help you to be prepared or even take advantage of economic recession. 2. Books about emotional intelligence When the economy goes under the water, people's emotions go with it. It is for apparent reasons. Many people will lose their jobs many will lose their businesses, and many will become poorer. Again, what happens to us oftentimes is not as damaging as how we handle it, and this usually has something to do with how emotionally intelligent we are. When things happen, most people assume that their end has come. History of the human race shows us that we're far more powerful than we often assume or believe. If, for instance, you lose your job, you can do what most people would cry and mourn forever, or see this as an opportunity to seek a new opportunity and build a better life for yourself. The story of Thomas Edison inspired me. He worked like a crazy man every day and night in his laboratory, but one day after several years of hard work, the laboratory caught fire. Edison stood afar and watched as his decades of work was turned to ashes, and instead of breaking himself and his spirit, Edison told his son, we're starting all over again tomorrow, and that was what he did. You see, that single incident was capable of destroying his entire life if he had allowed it. As the whole world goes through a challenging time, so many people are going to be broken. Don't let that be you. Instead, learn how to master your emotion, just like Edison. Tell yourself, I'm going to start again tomorrow. 3. Books about money Sometimes I think the reason I have a great interest about the subject of money is that I was born by poor parents. But that will be incorrect, as there are billions of people in the world who grew up in poverty, yet they have no interest in learning about money. I have a friend, a very smart guy, who never read a single book about money. Imagine some of those facts you know, yet you don't believe is true. That's how this appears to me. I asked my friend if he had ever read any book about money and he told me no. I know this is true, but I find it difficult to believe that it's true. Why don't people learn about money? I think so many people believe that the subject of money is simple. And yes, it is. But as simple as it is, it is far more complicated than most of the subjects we go to school to study. For example, in my country, Every child must study and learn English in every class for your first 12 years in school. Why do we think we should study language in school but not money? I mean, language is nothing. If you can hang around people who speak a particular language or you were born by the people who speak it, you can speak it even if nobody ever taught you how to speak it yet. We spend hundreds of hours to study languages in our school. 
I'm not speaking against studying anything in school, I'm only wondering why the world thinks financial literacy is not supposed to be one of those things you should understand deeply, or we simply assume that. If we can get good grades and a good job, everything else would take care of itself. Well, I wish that is simple, but it's not. Working for money is an entirely different game from making money, and making money is even different from growing it and keeping it. Now that you're probably in lockdown at home, you'll do yourself a great favor by reading a few books about money and how it works. 4. Read Biographies I could hardly recommend books without mentioning biographies. The reason is that biographies often contain most things you need in books. Take economic recession for instance. Almost everyone who has ever lived has gone through some difficult economic era. For example, Isaac Newton was in his 20s when he discovered gravity. But it wasn't as simple as that. He had to be alone for a long period because there was a lockdown as we are experiencing right now. It was a difficult period for him and millions of people all over the world. But he turned it around and gave the world a gift by doing so. While reading the biography of Albert Einstein, I read about the time he was having financial difficulty. And he wished he was a plumber instead of a scientist. Do you get the point? Reading the story of your favorite successful people at this period might end up giving you the courage you need to overcome whatever obstacle you have to face during this difficult time. 5. Read Motivational Books I remember reading Tough Times Never Last But Tough People Do by Robert Scholar several years ago. I remember reading Failing Forward by John C. Maxwell. I remember reading many other motivational books and felt like I had the strength to face life. I remember losing businesses and I would smile, even though I didn't know how to start again. I somehow believed that I have the power to figure it out because I had read a lot of things that inspired me and gave me the courage to believe in myself. Think about tough times never last. For example, the book tells you the stories of several people who went through tough situations and still made it to achieve some worthwhile dreams of their lives. Failing Forward is about how failure is almost a prerequisite to success and why you have to be strong, courageous and optimistic during a time like this. And for those of you who hate reading, we have something fun for you and that is, we have a team of people who work hard to study the lives of some of the most successful people in the world, compress their stories into a 4 minute video and then use that story to inspire you. We have a different channel for that which we call Hunt TV. If there's any channel you need during this period, that should be Hunt TV. Thousands of our fans have joined Hunt TV. Kindly look at the description box to join Hunt TV. We love you.